Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for joining me. I, of course, am Rotype. This is Factorio One Small Step, where today we're back to trains. And I want to make sure I get all this laid out properly, but I'm excited to get some of this train stuff done because that means the next thing we can do is get, whoops, get some oil. And that is pretty much the limiting factor in our progress. Now, what is going on here? Not sure why this did not join correctly. There we go. So as we discussed last episode, this is going to be our oil offloading area. And what I need to do is actually make sure I'm leaving enough space. And so to do that, what I'm going to do, I guess I don't really need a train. Just going to mimic the offloading area that I will be creating here and of course I don't have any of the materials to do that but basically what I'm going to do is create some pumps and while it probably won't be the final layout they'll just do a small pump for now of course handy hands is getting excited but it won't be the final layout of my offloading but I just want to create some kind of mimicry of it to make sure I have the space I need between these lines. And it looks like I do, but let's go ahead and wait for this pump to come in so I can be sure. So if a train comes in and is waiting here vertically in one of these, what will be stations, I'm gonna have an offloading pump just like that. And I believe actually that's probably all I need. Then just take this. Now this will be important. This is the farthest that this will reach. Although I can move it right up next to the next track. What that'll look like is probably this. And that'll allow us to go ahead and probably, I hope, this is what, two in between. Go ahead and place this one here. And this will be our third loading, or unloading, I should say. Wet bulk, I believe I was calling it. Our, our third wet bulk unloading area. And then again, I don't have another pump, but, but the one thing we'll have to do is make sure that they're not in the same line because as you can see if I if I had a pump here then I wouldn't be able to actually merge it in but that's easy enough to do each wagon will have one staggered so we'll have for example there then this one will go like this oops that's the wrong one so that will be our second track for whatever car this is and then this third one here will just go like this and that will be our unloading good so that will work and I'm getting probably a little ahead of myself by building all of these lanes. But at least as much as I don't have to sit here cutting down trees, I would like to just get them connected and set up. Again, I do like to plan mostly for the space. I sometimes plan uh, start building a little too much and spending too much time on it. But at the very least, I want to make sure I leave myself enough space. Go ahead and just connect these. There we go. And of course I need another, uh, of course I have no materials again. Grab some more iron. Grab a ton. All of this stuff. And what I need is a few more train stops. If I have signals, signals are probably in here. Oh, as well as train stops. And we'll go ahead and plan where this is going to be. I don't see any reason not to, well actually let me look here. So if we unload the oil up at the top, how do we want to do our processing? If I remember correctly, we we're planning on eventually these being removed. That's right, because the raw materials will come up this way and enter the raw bus on the top here. So what I need for this area, hopefully it's not too small. No, actually, if I remember, I was just going to run it up and add that's right, I was going to add the crude to the, the raw bus. Alright. That means this will become wet bulk unload. And we'll just copy that onto these other ones. And this will be our wet bulk unload. These are probably not placed right. I can take them up for now. And if I have enough space, I will go ahead and, oh no, we'll back this out. And how far do I want this to go? Actually, this should probably not block our power. 
be able to expand power to the left. Again, let's look at our map here. We want a block of steam engines to probably run this general area. So if possible, I would like to actually probably remove this up just a little bit more. From here we'll go probably like this. Nope, that's too low. Try. Is that gonna cut it? Find out. I go, yes, that will work. Now I just have to connect these in. That'll work just like that. Good. Close cut, but just means we're being space efficient, right? And of course there are trees in the way, but the point of doing this is to get the train back so I can pull it into the wet bulk area and use it as a guideline for where my unloading pumps and such should be. And of course, that just means we're going to be spending a ton of time cutting down trees. Oh, for the robots. Okay. Should be good enough for now. Helps if you click on the same monitor. There we go. A little extra space. Now we will take this train into... Actually, I can't even access that yet. But guess what? We have more tree cutting to do. Should be too much. We'll just be able to connect this last wet bulk unloading area. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Now, if I hop in our train, we can back it up. And run it forward. And actually, what I should do is just send it to wet bulk unload. Oops. Wrong button. Go. Okay, so this is what our train will look like in any of these bays. We'll have a pump. Might as well start at the top, I assume. And then the next one will be one lower so as to not interfere. It'll be there. And then this one will be here. And that's how that'll look. So we'll come in just like this. And like this. There. That's not the right button. So this will be our crude unload from this carriage wagon on each of the first arrays. Now I think what I'm going to do is actually build a probably a crude storage facility right here being just a bunch of tanks and then send it up into the bus. I think that's probably our best bet. Let's build a bunch of tanks. Five is fine for now. And let's see what that's going to look like. So actually what I should do is again, just kind of mimic this right here. That will look there and this will look here. Then again, here, here. Places these like this. Oops, that doesn't go there. That's where the pump goes. And we'll just complete that here with the others. Now, if everything works at peak efficiency, oh, I have one more to do, then these are going to be full pipes. And actually, I should probably not connect them because if I use the express pump, can't talk and Think about this at the same time, there we go. If I use the express pump, then each one of these is going to be completely full. So I will have, see how many here, three, six, nine, 12 full pipes of crude at full speed coming in. I think I can get it that way, depending on how the fluid dynamics works. Like I said, I, I think I can get it to work that way. So what I should probably do 
is make sure I have at least 12 inputs into my storage facility. We'll go ahead and just kind of lay out an initial setup. And I'll get a couple more tanks. What that'll probably look like is Oh, of course I was one off. Oh, and these take forever to pick up. Well, I'll leave that space, actually, because you never know when you want a check valve or a pump of some kind, so that's fine. Now, I think I want to go up, make this a little bit more square. Actually, I need four more to make that a square. So this will be a full pipe going in one. See what this one looks like and get this to here actually you know what we might as well just do it here and actually i don't want that to be connected i'll use a piece of straight pipe only there we go pretty useful mod there uh, fluid handling to not have to deal with that pipe connection nonsense and we're going to do it again here I want one elbow, two straight, I believe. I guess I only needed one straight, but we'll need another one at some point. So that one will fill in there. And of course, some of these probably will be replaced with pumps, but this is useful in the short term. So again, doesn't need to be here. This actually goes here. This one can come in right here. We'll actually leave a space for a pump again, which for now will just be our straight pipe. There's the elbow there. And we'll just kind of repeat this. Now, unfortunately, that's not going to connect, but this gives us, well, it would give us an opportunity, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the pumps or check valves, whatever I end up putting in right next to these instead of farther down, just so I can keep track of them. Now, let's see, how do I want to organize this? Uh, three, six, nine, 12, I said. So here are, we have the one and then four as well. So this would give us only one additional five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Get, uh, no, what am I out of now? Steel. That's unfortunate. And 11. So if I could squeeze one more in, that would be all 12 and kind of coming in from the bottom, which I would like to kind of force the fluid in from the bottom and out from the top. Let's see. Am I collecting steel anywhere? It looks like not, at least around here. Give myself a box. Anywhere? Do I have a box? Anywhere. No, I don't. Oh, well. Suck up a bunch of this steel. You know what? Might as well get a whole bunch more. You never know. And I don't remember how many more tanks I'm going to need, so I'll just make a, a handful there. And begin the long trek back. But as I was saying... I've sometimes seen fluid dynamics do some kind of weird things where refineries at the end of a, a fluid buffer will not get sufficient fluid even though the pipe is not full and even though there's fluid in your buffer. So I'm going to try and remedy that by bringing kind of in from the bottom, out from the top mentality. And we'll see how that works. Of course, this is like totally overkill, but fine. <laughs> Eventually, the idea is for it not to be overkill, but let's see. Connect just like that. Good. And then, of course, we need a couple. Let's just get, I don't know, 10 of them. That'll be that connection. And we'll repeat, whoops, with all of these other ones. This one is here. leave it in the same place. I believe this is one. Yes, the next one down. Fine. And I don't have any more iron to make pipe. 
load up. Oops. Good. Load it up on iron. And while I'm up here, find this box and get rid of this wood. So I believe just use that there, but I am going to need to use one of these straight pipes here. And then a normal pipe will do fine there. Good. This will be connected. Good. And one more set of wagons. Last one here. Oh, that's not where I want it. I want everything in a nice, neat line. It won't reach, so I'll do the same here. Just kind of repeat that. And that'll be fine. It'll be long, but am I out of... Come on, give me some pipes. And again, the same here. There, there, one below. Good. And some straight pipe. Normal pipe, which I'm out of again. And you might as well go ahead and wire these up. Wire these, connect these up while we're here. Uh, did I have one too many? It looks like I may. Well, let's go ahead and do it from this direction then. That one is connected. That was good, okay. Now this one needs to go to here. Come on, there we go. Yeah, so it looks like this one is unnecessary. Good, so this will be our liquid storage buffer. Good, okay. Now, what am I doing with liquid already? It's already down here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out how to get that into the system. And I think the easiest way to do that might just be for another pipe coming down like this. Ah, of course, there's a tree in the way. That connects. It did, good. And I believe we're getting close. Let's zoom out for a look. Oh, nope, we have a little ways to go still. Where is it? It is down... Here it is. And this way, at least while I'm kind of piping around, I can have liquid crude oil storing up in the buffer. When I'm ready to use it, I'll have a bunch there. All right, I have a little further to go, I believe. Here it is, okay. Go ahead and connect this way. Wow, that was perfect. Didn't expect that. Good, now crude is flowing. Do I have access to, I don't want an overflow valve. I only want, yeah, non-return valve, that's what I want. I don't want this. Which way is it going? That way. I only want fluid flowing up. I want the buffer back flowing into everything else. So good. Now we're building up crude. And everything in each individual tank will look really low because there are so many tanks, but it's fine. Now, how big of a buffer do we want? I think these three are just going to be an exorbitant amount, so we'll be fine with that. From here, we just bring it up to the bus. Through the trees, maybe? So far, so good. Wow, oh, still working. I'm surprised. And oh, we're already up past the bus. Now, can I clear out what I've built in this forest? At least see what I'm doing here. There we go. All right, so this will be our four lanes of 
poll for now may or may not change. So we leave a two space and then right here. Actually, I should just go ahead and use this. We'll make that connect at maximum length. Oops. And of course, the forest causes problems again. Here we go. And a couple single pipe connections, and here we go. So it looks like now we finally have crude oil on the raw bus, ready to be refined into all of our products. But that's going to have to be a project for the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. The thumbs are for your likes. Subscribe if you want to make sure you catch them all. My name's been Rotype, and I'll see you next time.